What's going on guys? Today we got an F80. Is it a F80? M3. We got an M3 in here ready for a full transformation. We're doing vinyl wrap and we're doing window tint all around. We're doing 5%, 35%, 35% and it's going to look mean. Let me show you the color. We're going to go ahead and do a satin black. That's, that's going to look so nice on this car. As you can tell, it has the yellow drls already it's gonna look like the batmobile basically now this car is not mine although i wish it was it's a good friend of mine brought it in he's brought a few other cars so let's go ahead and work our magic on this car Just like that, we got this car all nice and tinted. Did 5% on the sides, 35 front and back. It's crazy how just window tint can transform your car. I mean, we're not even done yet and it's already looking so much nicer and it just makes such a big difference. And when this car is all nice and wrapped, it's gonna, it's just gonna be crazy. But now that we finished the window tint, we gotta take care of a few things, starting with the PPF. So we have the mirror that's peeling. We gotta remove that PPF from there. And we gotta go to the rear bumper. We have this little ding here, and right here it's split open. We're gonna go ahead and repair this. But to repair it, gotta take it off because we have some PPF that we have to remove. Bumper's gonna come off anyway to wrap it. And so it just makes my life easier taking it off. Just like that, a few hours later, we got all the PPF removed, all the goo removed. Now we just gotta go over and give it a good polish to remove all the little rubber marks. We're gonna wait on the polishing. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the spoiler. I already removed it. Now that we got our mess going on, might as well just finish taking this goo off. Just have this nice and clean and then get that emblem removed and just have a clean trunk and bumper and get it ready for a wrap. So let's go ahead and get started.
now that we got the bumper smooth and polished no more goo anywhere let's go ahead and remove the trim pieces that so we can clean the car good and don't have to worry about getting in the way let's go ahead and just start doing that Finally ready to get washed. Sadly, it's raining. Still not gonna stop me from washing it. Just means I don't have to dry it. So let's go ahead and bring the car out. Get it ready for a good wash. Clay bar. Gonna get it looking brand new, nice and clean. Clean slate, ready for wrap. Go ahead and bring it out. Listen to that cold start. All right, we brought the car in here, nice and clean. Give it a full clay bar wash. I'm gonna let it dry. I usually like letting it dry with the doors open. All the water drips out. And that way, when I'm wrapping, there's no leftover water stuck somewhere. It makes it easier. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we start wrapping. Next day here, car's all nice and dry. So let's go ahead and get ready for wrap. Let me go get situated, get all my tools set up, and let's go ahead and start wrapping.
and just like that got the car all finished finally I had to align this aftermarket bumper I, I didn't show but this bumper wasn't lining up I had to install front lip and all that I did rear diffuser rear wing a bunch of other stuff that we added in and we got the interior all finished up somewhat got the other seat in overall it's looking clean got that window tint 35 percent front windshield and back and then we did five percent sides but it's man this thing's looking mean just look at that that's what a simple wrap can do to your car can you believe that did the yellow drls on that around the world around the